uncle is an elderly alcoholic and reformed petty thief. Although borderline dysfunctional, uncle resides with the Marston family and is provided with food and shelter at the family ranch in exchange for work he rarely performs. He sometimes manages to contribute, but he is often viewed by John Marston as lazy and inept. Uncle is a nickname, and he is of no biological relation to any of the Marston family. Uncle, in his own way, can be viewed as seeking redemption for his life of petty crime by working on the Marston Ranch. This parallels the decision of John and Abigail to leave the Vanderlyn gang and live a normal life. After Abigail and Jack are abducted by Edgar Ross and held for ransom, John reluctantly puts Uncle in charge of looking after the ranch at Breacher's Hope. John is then forcibly sent to New Austin to hunt down Bill Williamson and Javier Escuela. For the duration of the pursuit of Williamson and Escuela, Marston is not in any kind of contact with Uncle. When John Marston finally returns from his quest bringing his former gang members to justice, he finds his ranch in despair and livestock rustled. John constantly berates Uncle for his inability to maintain the ranch whilst he was away. Don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed and no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, well, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We're leaving in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. Uncle continues to live with the Marson family after John's return to working at the ranch. Uncle can be seen assisting in blacksmithing and animal tending duties. He and John herd the cattle on occasion and break horses on another. And most other times he can be seen napping around the ranch. Get up, old man. I, I am up. Get up. There, I'm up. Well, thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. And you always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. Do this together. When U.S. Army soldiers and bureau agents approach the ranch, Uncle spots them and immediately alerts John, enabling them to mount defenses and plan an escape for Jack and Abigail. John, come here! John, come here, quick! Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside, you hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. Now you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy. Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. Uncle assists John in fighting the soldiers, showing great competence with a rifle, but is ultimately wounded in the chest. Jack ceases firing and comes to Uncle's side, while John continues fending off the soldiers. Hang in there, Uncle! I'm gonna get you out of here safe! Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <coughs> Take them in. <coughs> Don't worry about me. Just get them out of here. No! Uncle, please! John returns to Uncle and thanks him for his sacrifice. Uncle promptly demands that they escape and then bleeds to death. 
At some point in time after the assault on the ranch, Uncle is buried atop the ridge of Breacher's Hope in the family plot. In the events of Undead Nightmare, Uncle makes his first and last appearance in the mission Love in the Time of Plague. John, after riding through the intense downpour of the storm, comes home at night to find Uncle's not returned from town, with the family assuming he's taken shelter from the storm. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs gone crazy and wolves howling and birds flying. Well, it's just the storm, John. Maybe. Uncle make it back yet? I thought he was with you, off drinking in the fields. I mean, working, as you call it now. Uh, he went into town a few hours ago, after we busted that hammer working out in the meadow. Well, he's probably holed up in some place of ill repute, waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. Well, that old man can take care of himself. I know. Just a funny feeling I got. You can't psychic, Paul? Either that or I ate something funny. <laughs> Knowing your mother's cooking seems more than likely. Mm. Later that night, while John and Abigail are in bed, Uncle bursts in, zombified, snarling and growling. Abigail sees Uncle's bloody, torn-up appearance and yells in horror. You okay, old man? You don't look so good. <gasps> Get my gun. As John is getting a shotgun from his workshop, Uncle chases Abigail up to the front porch. She then trips in the yard near the porch, and Uncle takes the opportunity to jump on Abigail and bite her on the neck. Uncle! You dumb son of a bitch! Stop! John, arriving to see Uncle had already jumped on Abigail, yells at Uncle, causing him to turn and face John. What'd you do to her, you sick bastard? That has been everything we know about the character of Uncle in Red Dead Redemption. Your hands upon a dead man's gun and you're looking down the sights Your heart is worn and the seams are torn